and then I watch it blow up. Y'all know what I'm like. Y'all play it in your system every night, now. And Beauty Snow, it's your boy Chaos, getting it. 16 game win streak, looking for 17 and over 5,000 BC. So, who's riding that short bus? Is it Andy Milanakis? Squiddy. Squiddy 2X. Cuando estás bien te alejas de mí Te sientes solo y siempre estoy ahí Es una guerra de toma y dame Pues dame de eso que tienes Oye baby no seas mala No me dejes con la gana se escucha en la calle y que ya no me quiere Ven y dímelo en la cara Welcome to BMO Harris Bradley Center. We are in Milwaukee, the home of the Milwaukee Bucks. And we're bringing it to you live here on 2K Sports. It's the NBA, and it's live right here on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, this is Kevin Hart. The starting fives for our game, here are tonight's starting lineups. And breaking down the game, let's take a look here at Mono Ginobili. He's a great three-point shooter, too, especially when he lets it go from one of those corners. He doesn't miss many of those. You look at San Antonio. They're faced now with what is probably the easiest part of their schedule. They've got a lot of home games on the docket, but they can't take anything, guys, for granted. And they face this team just once more after tonight. So they lost that first matchup. They're looking to get this one to boost their confidence and give themselves a chance to win the season series. And, Greg, I think that'll have them coming out of the locker room with a little pep in their step. I mean, they do not want to lose back-to-back -back games to this team, especially having only oh one more God. game so to play against them this season. Like, Jesus Christ. Honda Takumbo kicks to Parker. Those three-pointers off the mark. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going in this court. Aldridge, goodbye, Bledsoe. And it's Aldridge missing. Well, that's clearly a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look at. No doubt about it. You cannot let up defensively just because he missed that one. Here's Snell. And uh, right now he's averaging about seven points a game. Feeds it to Bledsoe. Leonard with the steal. Uh, and that's an intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but it certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Last time they met was in San Antonio. Yo, you a fuck boy. You always will be. You a fuck boy. You can quit, you fuck boy. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Wow. Asked the Bears. 
still scoreless after four attempts, trying to take the lid off the basket. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. And it's Mono Ginobili with the finish. You're a fuck boy. You always will be a fuck boy. Remember that. Has got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attempt. That's exactly the way to do it, too, Kevin. Go hard to the bucket and don't let them set up the defense. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Back to Parker. He feeds it to Bloodsoe. Parker outside. Here's the three. Good. You're special ed. That's what you are. You're a fuck boy that's special ed. Only took him a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of Got a three-point battle taking shape here. The Spurs shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. And the first one at the line is good. And Parker drops them both. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Back to Parker. From deep three-point range. Milwaukee the rebound. Here's Henson. And it's sent back by Aldridge. Parker passes to Bertans. And the whistle blows. Look at that special light look. This is going to be on Jabari Parker. That's foul number two for him. Already his second foul. He's in danger yeah, of getting the serious foul trouble early in this game. Traps in the tray. You know, what an advantage he brings to this offense, guys. I mean, being able to drain the three ball, that really can spread a defense and extend the defense as well. Smell from outside. Green with the rebound. Rebounding is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. Is and it has been so far, and they've gotten a nice edge on the glass. Giannis Antetokounmpo's checked in for Mirza Toledo. All sorts of time. And Green with the basket on the assist from Leonard. Green's got a second bucket tonight. And he's very much a student of the game in terms of getting to know the tendencies of whichever player he's guarding on any given night and then gearing his defensive game plan <laughs> to do Thank what you. he needs to do to stop him. <laughs> and an intentional Thank foul you, right Thank there. You. And he's got his first free throw. Of the Just quit. First one falls, and the Bucks with some changes. Monroe comes in for Henson, and Middleton subbed in for Parker. And good on the Just quit, bro. Quit. Come on, you ain't beating me, bro. It's definitely not happening. So you can go suck a dick. Make sure you put hot, hot sauce on it, bro. I know that you like it like that. That should be a fucking clear path foul, you fucking fuck boy. A second, so he makes them both. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him 
when he's at the line. Yeah, you can't mess with And Milwaukee back. calls their try. first time out of the game. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Boy, they got punished in that third quarter. They just came out lifeless, flat after halftime. You, you can't muted. do that. You know, a lot of times so when you get a big try. lead, you start playing not to lose. And when you do that, you can lose momentum. And that's exactly what happened in that game. Look at Toronto. And of course, there's the Bucks. Nine games back. Bucks trail by eight. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Jason Kidd. What'd you find out, Doris? When I asked him what some of his main concerns are today, and he said they're dealing with a team that can really light it up from the perimeter. And therefore, it's essential that they not give up too many open looks from out there to go to the Doris, thank you. Obviously, Clark, the three ball is a big concern for any defense. Well, yeah, it is, Kevin, but the upside is you're not getting broken down in the lane and you're not giving them free throws, but you still have to challenge those shots. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Onda Takumbo kicks to Middleton. Brogdon. They double him with Green. Middleton drives in, and there's the foul. It's on Dwayne Dedman. That's his first foul. 133 left to play here in the first. Onto Takumbo, dishes to Bledsoe. There's the triple, and another three for Milwaukee. And guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. Urgenus. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. On to Kumbo, passes to Bloodso. And out of bounds. Uh. <laughs> As the Spurs gain possession. Well, some of the numbers NBA wingman have been putting up from the field this season are truly impressive. Have a look at the top shooters among them. Second is Jabari Parker. And, and that is such an efficient group offensively. That really the be is the best way to describe them. I mean, they never force anything and always wait for the right shot. And Greg, you can't post the kind of percentages they do unless you operate that way. I mean, you can't be undisciplined. Nope, not today, bro. At the small Just like you. Spot if you hope to be an official like shooter. That. Milwaukee shooting their first free throws of the medicine, Joel Anthony's checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Middleton hits them both. There's 45 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Leonard kicks to Green. San Antonio again missing. And there's the pass to Brogdon. Throws it up high. That's why we're doing because you're special ed. You got to see it twice, the special ed. <laughs> special ed. <laughs> Fuck you. Incredible time on the alley -oop. He absolutely hammered it down. And guys, mark that play right there because that could be the one that leads to a surge to break this thing wide open. That's tipped. Green kicks to Murray. Get out of here, faggot. Back to Green. The feed now to Leonard. Up in time. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And it closely contested. So far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And guys, what's your take on the Spurs so far? I, I just think that from an intensity standpoint, their defense has really been the key. It's been the catalyst as they've been able to disrupt their opponent's offense. Absolutely. I mean, they've been much more intense defensively. 
Their defense not only has been intense, but it's been swarming and saran wrap like. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Setting the floor for the Bucks. They've got Jabari Parker. Chandler out there with Mirza Toledovich. Then there's Parker, and it's Henson in at the five. You and are tagging. Snell's got his you first three points of the game. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. With three of the last five baskets they've allowed have come from beyond. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds thus far. And all that hard work on the boards needs to continue because that potentially may swing the game. They're hovering around 50% for the game in three-point. That's pretty good. But they've really elevated here in the second quarter. Passes it to Bertans. Parker, guarded by Bledsoe, lets it go from deep. Rebound by Parker. Last game for the Spurs, they picked up the W against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. And I believe what that... No one cares, you're special. The game came down to a very special to really knock... Yeah, you're special ed, huh? You're not beating me. It's not happening. A whole lot of time left. But you are special ed, though. You, you, you rode the sharp bus, right? Did you write Down the short bus? Yeah, I thought the work they did on the perimeter was excellent. Just too much for that defense, or really any defense for that matter, to handle. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Yeah, it's got to be concerned with all the missed shots here. And every team goes through cold streaks. You just got to figure out a way to stay productive. And the best way to do that when you're missing shots is to get to the foul line. Be aggressive, get to the foul line, and knock down some of those freebies, and the tide can turn for you. For San Antonio, Anderson comes in for T.J. Warren, and it's Kyle Anderson in for Dwayne Dedman. Spurs trail by seven. Back to Gay. And they get it. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got three assists tonight. That's just run of the mill for him. A typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. Timeout called the Bucks. Tony. And a moment here to check out the stats for Aldridge. 17th in rebounding, 18th in scoring, and of course, rim protection always at a premium. That's an important part of his game. Top 20 in blocks per. You know, just like you were saying, he's one of the better rebounders in the league. He just has that knack and that tireless work ethic that really galvanizes and energizes his teammates. Green kicks to all outside Leonard from about 19 feet. Gay dishes to Leonard. Outside Green. Henson against Aldridge. From deep Green. From beyond the arc and then some. Green's got 10 points. Once so kicks to Parker. The kick out to Hunter Kumbo. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Bucks. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. Now here's Leonard. 
They know he's going to give him a lift with his scoring. He's averaging 16 points a game. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. And I love the mentality that they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing it. They're moving it side to side until they finally get the one. They Here's Aldridge. Dishes it to Gay. Green. Back to Gay. He kicks it to Green. Not enough on that one as it misses. You really don't want to see him missing those mid-range shots, but when he's open, he's got to shoot it. Bloodso with it. Now Green defending. Three-pointer. They get the rebound. Outside for Bloodso. It's off his leg. And the ref's whistling a kickball. A different look from... You're Milwaukee. Vegas. Matthew Delavidova has checked in for Jabari Parker. And Spencer Hawks subbed in for Tyson Chandler. San Antonio calls timeout. And the Spurs making a change here. Gasol's checked in. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You look at the Rockets, and of course San Antonio just need to take it a game at a time. Now here's Henson. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against New Orleans. And don't forget about his work on the glass. I mean, he contributed in a number of ways. Leonard with the bucket. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Parker outside. Oh! As to Henson. He dishes it to Delavid over. Uses the glass to finish the win. And the Bucks lead by three. Boy, what a significant turnaround here in the second quarter. After only making 40% from the field in the first. Kicks it out to Gay. Gasol is screen on Parker. Gasol drives in. Outside Green. Launches it. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Wow, what a special, special performance this guy's putting on from long range. Well, that has been his shot today. No, no if, ands, or what's about. You know, that's hard to explain that play. I mean, I, I guess he thought he had more room than he did. Jabari Parker's checked in for the Bucks. Chandler comes in for Mirza Teletovic. Here's Pertinis, and he makes good on the layup. 14 points for him. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for San Antonio. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. We've watched Warren play great basketball. He's got 14 points, and he's drained four three-pointers here as well. And with more to come, you know, it wouldn't hurt to keep getting him the basketball. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jump. Yeah, that's a good observation on your part, Greg. Fewer free throw attempts for them this quarter. And the danger is they can't afford to get too comfortable out there because they've got the lead. Otherwise, it might start to get away from him. Ginobili with the ball. He's picked up by Parker. He's feeling it. Oh! And it's wide right. It's off the rim. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. They get it back. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Fires the three. Gasol with the rebound. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Ginobili outside. Stolen by Bloodso. Puts the lead pass and oh! No one cares, you faggot. Jesus Christ, you're a faggot. You're a bottom feeding Man, faggot. Man, you got with that one, didn't you? Yeah, maybe trying to Nobody give them cares. the momentum boost they need to break this game open. I'll tell you what, I like that, though, guys. Some coaches might not want you to make Oh, he put it down! It account. What a shot! I think that one was... And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Spurs lead by four. 
We'll, we'll see you back here after the break huh? for third quarter basketball. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. What can you say? T.J. Warren, a very impressive effort here today. Boy, did he put on a show from beyond in that first half. Let's see if the halftime break has any cooling effect on him. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We'll soon find out because I guarantee they're going to keep feeding it to him behind the arc until he does cool off. On the court right now for the Spurs. Green teams with Leonard on the wings. Then it's Dwayne Dedman, and it's Bertinus in at the power forward. Parker with it. Leonard picks him up. Another miss by Parker. Spurs leading by six. It's so about to Kumbo. Parker passes to off the backboard. And hey guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. And the shot is good. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. Parker dishes to Aldridge. And it's out of bounds to the Spurs as San Antonio retains possession. <laughs> right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Pass to Bertinus. Parker outside. Bertinus. Mano Ginobili on the way. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Leonard's got seven. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. We've seen T.J. Warren really having a great game. He's been locked in from deep. They're giving him too much breathing room and definitely paying the price for it. hands in the league and generating the most steals per game. The fourth spot held down by Jabari Parker. And, and this is the set of guys that can do as much or more damage with their defense as they can with their offense. They know how to swoop in for a steal from anywhere on the floor. It would be nice to find a steals chart to see where they're getting all their pilfers from. These are small forwards, though, who play 94 feet of defense. Well, he's building a house with those bricks. I mean, one reason is he keeps trying to force it up when he's defending. That's for a great strip. <laughs> <laughs> Finish through the contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. Giannis Antetokounmpo's checked in for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton comes in for Chandler. San Antonio calls timeout. What, you want to be honest? Because they're playing right now on TNT versus the Wizards. That's exactly why. You a bandwagon, bro.
moment now, Kevin, to see how the Spurs are doing in the NBA statisticals currently. Fourth in block, sixth in fewest turnovers per game. And they're in the top half of the league in team rebounding as well. They've got some glass eaters on that squad. You know, you talked about their spot in the shot blocking rankings. Their length and presence inside is not to be taken lightly. And, and trust me, their opponents are very conscious of it every time they drop the ball. What a game for Park. He's got eight points, and he was able to come up with one steal, too. You know what? He's been a difference maker defensively today, Clark. He's disrupted more plays than the stat sheet will show. Oh, free throws good from Adetokounmpo. Spurs leading by seven. On the wing, Green. He passes to Bertans. Parker, guarded by Bledsoe. It's thrown about to Takumbo. And Bledsoe, here we go. Kicks it to Ante Takumbo. Hanson the pass to Ante Takumbo. Brogdon. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Here's Pertinus. And the powerful one-handed slam. And you can sense the momentum really starting to swing their way. Yeah, they're taking charge here. I mean, to grow and grow from here. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either, Greg. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Craig Monroe, he's checked in for Hanson. And Parker's subbed in for Jabari You're Parker. done. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. <coughs> and did not seem happy about how things are going on right now. And maybe wants to make some changes. I agree. I mean, just was not comfortable with the way things were set up at that particular time. And in that case, I think it's the right thing to do. back in. Bloodsoe. Parker kicks to Green. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Parker outside. From the arc. But they recover it. Makes the lead pass. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. And the Spurs with possession. They're on a 10-2 run here from past the arc. And Aldrich, the basket on the assist by Parker. Parker's got four assists now tonight. Bucks trail by 12. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That is his first foul of the game. Bledsoe against Green. Pertinus. A three-pointer off the mark. Middleton dishes to Bloodsoe. Back to Middleton. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Knocked away. And stolen by Aldridge. Here's Parker. Shot no good. Aldridge with some nice deep. Spurs leading by 12. And it's Mono Ginobili with the finish. It's time to quit. Quit. Such a strong finisher on the fast break. And Greg, I love the fact he's always in control, even though he's going at breakneck speed, he still maintains his body control. And what so? Here we go. Parker passes to Bloodso. Six on the shot clock. And Middleton kicks to Bloodso. Brings it from beyond the arc. Bloodso's got his third basket of the night right there. It's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. A different look for Milwaukee. Henson comes in for Craig Monroe. And Jabari Parker subbed in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. 
112 left in the third quarter. And it's Leonard missing. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. That fast break three is one of his favorite shots. He's never afraid to pull it up from deep. There you go. Really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding positions. He wasn't set. Here's until Ledovich has checked in for Tyson Chandler. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Parker drives in, backing him down. Henson. Henson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. And Bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. Right, go, go. Leonard, the pass to Bertans. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Bucks trail by 12. Outside, out of the Kumbo. The dish to park. Oh, my goodness. You know, it's sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult while they're trailing. Yeah, but still, you know what? A magnificent move to the ring. I tell you what, guys, I don't care what the score is. That's the play we're going to remember when this game is over. Feeds it to Green. Right side green. No good there. And as we end the third we'll quarter, quarter, a double digit boys. deficit. And the final period of play just about to start. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for San Antonio. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Couple that with just how well they've shot it from beyond. They've made this thing look easy. We've got Mirza Toledovic. Under Takumbo is out there with Jabari Parker. And it's Chandler. And it's Henson in at the five spot. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. Spurs leading by nine. Parker outside. Green. No good from outside. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. It's out of the combo on the wing. Ball's knocked loose. Parker with the steal. There's an passes to Alden. Parker, right side. Tries to keep it alive. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. And the Spurs making a change here. Ginobili's checked in. San Antonio calls timeout. here let's find out what Doris Burke has for us thanks guys I was able to hear Greg Popovich coaching his team during that last break his message I don't want us patting ourselves on the back just yet we can congratulate ourselves after the final horn right now we need to go out there and take this one home guys phenomenal alley-oop slam right there guys. they're taking advantage Clark of a team that looks lost out there <laughs> guys this one is threatening to get really ugly. and that one's good and he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total outside only back to game and then game with the jam 
Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying hard to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Mark? Yeah, I would have to say there are a lot of questions right now from a defensive standpoint. That's for sure. There you go. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Leonard dishes to game. Yeah, and the whistle out. blows. It's going to be on Jabari Parker. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. That could have major consequences, Kevin. With this game still in question, it's really a tough time to lose. Matthew Delavidova has checked in for the Bucks. And really no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. Yeah, and that was important. Probably would have been a quick two points if he doesn't get a hand on it and knock it out of bounds. That drops. And it's a 12-point Spurs lead. Clearly, they've been the hotter team here in the first half. Well, they've been grit and grind working for those high-percentage shots. And quite honestly, it's paid off for them. Parker outside. Another miss by Parker. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. We get to the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Yeah. And you know, against him, Steve, as an opponent, you need to make sure you're making smart, crisp passes because he's so good at picking off the sloppy looseness. San Antonio making a switch here. Ginobili's checked in. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Snell kicks to Henson. He feeds it to Toledovich. Parker, Aldridge is covering. That's the free fly. And it's Parker again missing. Kevin, he's missing shot after shot after shot from long range. The time running. Hello, he'd be better off trying something else. Yeah, really strong offensive thrust there. But then how about the defense able to negate that attack? Yeah, doing exactly what he had to do right there, Greg, to make sure he wasn't going to get flushed on or Instagram. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Yeah, it looks like he saw some things out there that, that need to be adjusted. And he's going to take a break here and talk it over. Hey, you know, coaches sometimes need a break in the action to rethink and retool a bit. Anytime you, you're in that situation, it makes sense to use the timeout. <laughs> you hug him up, boy. Here. Yo, why aren't you pausing it now? Why aren't you doing replays now? Exactly, because you lost. Fucking faggot. And both free throws good for game. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. And now we've got the intentional foul. Craig Monroe, he's checked in for Henson. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Yeah, none too pleased with the play of his team. And, and you know what? They just need to get things sorted out. Yeah, you know, there's not a coach around who would be happy with the way his guys have kind of rolled over during this run.
YouTube tonight getting embarrassed. Milwaukee with the ball. It's a 16 point game. I always going to do a Jack three zone. <laughs> the three ball is good. And they've got Fuck to yeah. talk to you, each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a pay. Parker kicks to Leonard. Back to Parker. Launches a three. That's good. And it's Leonard with the assist. And that's now 11 points for Parker. Not too much respect shown to him by the defender. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what, Kevin, but he's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a fact. Now the pass to Snell. And he's good on the three ball. What are they thinking, leaving him with all that space out there? Do they not know? Have they not heard? This guy is unbelievable. That's a layup for him. And he just punishes the D for falling asleep at the wheel. Yeah, a little disorganized that time. And the result, two points in the loudest way possible. So guys, there has to be better rim protection than that, though. Not very good. But you know what? Sometimes something good can come out of a bad possession. Gate kicks to Leonard. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Reverse that one home. <laughs> now that was nice. Real nice. The agility on this sport. Yeah, you <laughs> love that body control. How about the power and grace on that finish? Parker, right side. Fires from deep, and that one's good. Parker's got eight points here in this quarter. Three triples in the first half, three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Bledsoe against Green. There you go. The first free throw is good. And both free throws good for Green. Ah! Bucks trail by 14. And so they foul intentionally. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. Milwaukee making a switch. Henson's checked in. 18 seconds of the shot. Here's Leonard. I got him. Leonard draws the double. Bertinus. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. 31 points for T.J. Warren. What an exhibition he's putting on today. This is about as hot as you can get. Milwaukee, no good that time either. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense. Uh, they can't count on him to continue this. I tell you what, I think he'd be happy if he can continue to get looks like that. Fucking faggot. Get out. Johnny, that was a tough game, but fuck that piece of shit. Can't stand people like that. That big shot, half court shot before the half. Encore une fois, on a réussi à faire quelque chose de différent. Man, he was wet from three. Yo, what's up? This is Mighty Soul. Eight of fourteen from deep.